We have a new grief group um, that is through the Boys and Girls Club. It's not just for the Boys and Girls Club, but it is basically for the kids in the community that have dealt with a loss. I've seen a lot of the kids that come through the shower club and the club here that have dealt with a lot of um, loss in their life, whether it be a parent or a, a brother, or sister, uncle, and I can see how it's really affected them. It just opens a lot of doors for the kids to be able to come in and express their sadness and that they can share their loss with other people that are that have gone through it too. We originally started with the focus on being for the kids and the teenagers, but what we found was that the parents needed that connection as well. I come to the Great Support Network because um, my wife originally brought, brought it up and we decided to go do it. And it's, the kids really enjoy going to it and it seems to be very helpful for them. I enjoy coming to it because I get to interact with other people who have lost people. And I really like the interaction and I'm able to grieve while my kids are able to talk about stuff and um, they don't see me being sad. So I really enjoy that and it's lots of fun. When we get to grief group, there's usually two or three dogs from the Humane Society who are trained to be with kids and to be therapy dogs. And the kids get to run around. Victoria loves to run around with one of them as she was doing the day. Dogs are kind of like the icebreaker for the program. You see the children come in, hey, it's the dogs, let's walk the dogs around, or let's play with the dogs, or pet the dogs. Especially kids that are new to the program, I notice a big change there. Dogs have a very, very calming effect. We don't, everybody that's got a dog knows this. It's very soothing to have a dog in the room. Um, it's also, I think, beneficial for children that are in a state of stress to be around animals and understand that animals sort of, sort of smooth that out. Um, we had one lady that she was determined that this was just for her child. She wasn't going to say anything. She was really quiet through the whole thing. And then one of the other um, participants started talking to her and asking her questions. And it was just like a floodgate. She just opened up and shared her stuff. And she was even surprised afterwards. She said, you know, I wasn't even planning on saying anything, but I just felt the connection was so deep and things just started surfacing and um, I just felt us, it was safe to open up and share all my story with her. You go from being strangers to being family when you leave. It was just awesome. 